Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics Rate Debates. Uh, my name is Theodore. My name is Tade. Hello. And today we are going to discuss, I would say, the most common features and attributes of uh, all the products which we can find or you can find on our web shop in the category of uh, night vision binoculars. We have two binoculars here just for an example. And I know today you went through this topic and you gathered most common questions and everything what is really important uh, regarding this category and products inside of it. Just start. Where? Well, it doesn't get any more basic than this. Uh, how do we define or how can you how can you resemble from a goggle, night vision goggles or a night vision binocular like this one? Well, we have a separate video about the category of night vision goggles. Night vision goggles are uh, I would say subcategory of binoculars. Those are the binoculars which have a magnification of one. So you can put them on your eyes and you can normally walk, drive a car, fly a plane, or you can do anything because they don't magnify the image. So you have the same image as with your plane eyesight. With binoculars, this is different. They are the same in design, but they feature image magnification. So they do enlarge the image and by this you're getting uh, you're able to see more details you're able to see further however normally you're not able to function normally when you're looking through the binoculars because everything is enlarged and the field of view is uh, uh, um, a lot narrower yeah. than with <clears throat> your normal eyes so we usually say the night vision binoculars are all night vision devices which have two tubes for both eyes and which have a magnification more than two. Mm -hmm. So this is a basic, uh, um, I would say, definition or these are the attributes which define all these products in this category. Uh, apart from the magnification which you just mentioned, uh, which are the other features which we can find on night vision binoculars? Well, night vision binoculars are basically the same like daytime binoculars. The only difference is that they feature inside of the optical uh, construction and the optical design, they feature a uh, photo cutout which uh, amplifies light. So when you look through normal binoculars, the light goes in and the light goes out. With night vision binoculars, the light goes in, it's get, it gets amplified by a, uh, by a photo tube inside and then you get the amplified uh, light into your eye. So you're basically able to see at night. Mm -hmm. This is the basic principle. What is additionally really common with uh, all night vision binoculars is that they feature infrared illuminator so that you're able to see better at night. Because if there is no ambient light at night, so from the stars, from the moon or something like that, it's really, really, really hard to see uh, anything, even if you have really good night vision optics. With an integrated illuminator, like this pulsar here, normally uh, you're able to, to see better and clearer. So this is the one common feature. The other common feature is that uh, in contrary to, I would say, classical daytime binoculars, focusing is usually done on each tube separately. So you're rotating each tube separately and then normally you're also uh, making the diopter setting on, on each eye separately. So you have four different places where to, to adjust the image. Uh, this is what is really different uh, compared to the daytime binoculars which have a center focusing usually mm -hmm. or, or focusing separated for each eye. Here it's different, you have focusing on each, on each tube and then you have the diopter setting on each tube. Mm -hmm. So they're a little bit harder to set up. And they feature an additional infrared illuminator. This is usually the. Uh, you mentioned that they are. Um, they look alike, uh, like a conventional binocular. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that bi conventional binoculars have an option of a adjustable bridge. What about uh, this one? They, they don't have such an option, do they? Well, these two models on the table, not, but many mm -hmm. others do. So interpupillary distance. With with normal binoculars, you can always adjust the interpupillary distance so that it really fits your eyes. With uh, night vision binoculars, they're usually, <coughs> if they're affordable, they're usually made in a way that uh, one size fits all. So even if the interpupillary 
distance of the binocular is not completely the same as the interpopular distance of, of a person using them, you're still able to see the image quite well. Uh, with more expensive models, normally you can adjust the interpopular distance normally the same way like on, uh, mm -hmm. on conventional binoculars. These two models on the table, this Yukon and Pulsar, unfortunately they are so affordable, the price is uh, really, really good, so that means that uh, this feature is left behind, mm -hmm. at least for now. Uh, as you mentioned, they have uh, both of both of these models have an uh, integrated uh, IR uh, illuminator. Yeah. But there is also, as far as I know, there is also an option to install an additional illuminator. Is that is that true? Yeah. On all on all binoculars from all classes, you are usually able to put on one additional, much more powerful, uh, much more powerful illuminator, and that means that you really enhance the performance of the binoculars even further. Mm -hmm. Normally they are more they're bulkier, bigger, a little bit heavier, but the image quality it's much much better with uh, with an additional powerful uh, infrared illuminator. You also said regarding the magnification it goes from one, two and so on? One is only for goggles. Only for goggles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the two and onwards is for night vision binoculars. I would say the highest which at least which I saw are around eight. Mm -hmm. But this is really really high magnification for night vision. Usually they are around Three to five in this uh, in this sector. So uh, in basically, this range. minimal two two times and maximum eight. around eight. Yeah, uh, with conventional binoculars, normally it goes all the way up to sixteen, mm -hmm. twenty, even some. I can also see that the lens the, the lens diameter of this edge, pulsar edge, uh, differs from this one. You can tracker. Bit, yeah, it's a little bit bigger. What are the approximate lens diameters of uh, this night vision? Everything binoculars? starts, I would say, mostly at twenty four. So two times uh, 24, it's uh, I would say the entry level uh, configuration and then there is no real limit on the objective lens diameter. We have models even with 100 millimeter objective lens diameter since in, in low light or in, in the night where there is actually no light at all, the bigger is better. Uh -huh. Even in an illuminator, normally the bigger lens, the easier it will be uh -huh. to see the image on, on further distances. Uh, but I would say mostly it's between 40 and 60 in this in this range. Most of the night vision binoculars have their objective lens uh, lenses diameters. I can also see these two devices. Both of them have um, objective lens filters. Uh, yeah. Why is that? Why is that? Because with analog uh, devices, which have an analog uh, photocathode inside, which amplifies light, it's very, very dangerous to expose this uh, um, photo tube, amplifying tube, to bright daylight. Because you can damage the tube, you can even completely ruin the tube so that it doesn't work anymore, and it wears out. So even if it still works, <coughs> If you expose it to the bright daytime sunlight, uh, usually the performance will be downgraded uh, and it will not work equally well anymore. So this is the reason they always feature these caps uh, on them with a small, small hole in the, in, the, in the middle so that you can use them also during the day but you have to have them covered. Mm -hmm. And you can remove this when there is complete darkness, not before that. Mm -hmm. Uh, do manufacturers of night vision binoculars also go for the digital versions or, or not? Lately, yeah. Lately there is more and more digital night vision binoculars and normally we will have a separate video of what are the advantages of analog. I think we already did the video, what is the advantage of analog uh, night vision compared to digital and what are the advantages so, of yes. digital com comparing to uh, analog night vision. It's slowly rolling out. Uh, I would say that with conventional analog night vision binoculars, you still gain this moment, you still gain a lot of resolution. And you can get them either generation 1, generation 2, generation 2 plus, generation 3, you can get them in all classes. And also the price rise, I would say from 300 euros all the way to 10,000 euros. It depends what kind of technology of the image intensifying tubes uh, the binoculars are using. So if you compare generation one really basic device that can cost 250 euros, let's mm -hmm. say for instance, and if you compare it to a really technologically advanced night vision binoculars with uh, generation three um, image intensifying tubes, the price can be 
10,000 and more euros. So there is really mm -hmm. huge price difference between them. If you explain just briefly for which field of use uh, should a customer go for a night vision binocular? Um, I would say, at least in our shop, most of the customers are either hunters. So they use this to observe the animals, to, to assess the trophies and so on. Um, this is the best, uh, I would say, purpose for them. And the other segment are usually for security reasons. So all the security agencies and so on, uh, they also use them because you're able to observe normally with, with them. And the big advantage is also that when you use both eyes, uh, the image is nicer. You, you see the image differently and better. So this is the reason why it's even more comfortable to use night vision binoculars compared to night vision monoculars. Uh -huh. The price normally on the binoculars is higher of course, of course. there are two tubes. Well, these are all the questions I gathered regarding the night vision binoculars. Thank you very much, Fyodor. Uh, thank you today. I hope we didn't forget something. If we did, please use comments, send us an email, call us, and normally please subscribe. Take care. Bye.